Welcome back, everybody. That's not the start of the podcast. That is actually the tax man knocking on your door. There was a little sound there. Yeah, there's sound. Hmm. What's going on, Brad? Well, everything we buy online, at least here in in good old America, is about to get more expensive. Yeah, let me make sure I got the headline right here. Um, I'm sure it's the top story today because nothing else is going on in this world. Nope. Yes. All right. Yeah. If my understanding is that this, the Supreme Court ruled Thursday that states can compel retailers to collect sales taxes, even if they do not have a physical presence in the state, which is the previous ruling that. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's in my browser. I was wondering. <laughs> like, I keep hearing music. Shares of Amazon, Wayfair, Etsy, and eBay all dipped in early trading Thursday. <laughs> yes. Oh, boy. So, wait, uh, before you even say anything. Mm-hmm. Right when the show started, he said, hey, there's a little bit of music when it was, in fact, actually just music from your local machine. No, that was something else. Um, or I don't know what it was. I heard like just a little. It might have been like, you know, we have like a little bit of audio in the mm-hmm. in the what do you call that? The intro or whatever. It might have just been that it was silent. But then I heard a little bit of something, something, something. I don't know. Anyways, to- um, if you buy things online. <laughs> And you weren't taxed. And you do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what with mm-hmm. it being 2018 and all. I will tell you what did pop up uh, because I ordered something for Amazon yesterday. As we all mm-hmm. know, in January or whatever, they're going to jack the price up to, what, 119 for Prime, something like that? It's going to be earlier than that. Or whatever. Um, depending yeah. on, yeah, it depends on when your um, uh, you know, renewal time is. Yeah, so when I was going to check out, a little pop-up showed up and says, Hey, Brad, you saved over $250 on two-day shipping by subscribing to Prime. Yeah, just a little helpful reminder ahead of the $20 jack that's mm-hmm. about to occur. So, yeah, I mean, you still sell. It, it's still, look, Amazon Prime is a tremendous deal, no doubt about it. So, And they really don't raise the price that much. I think this is only the maybe second time they've done so. Something like that. It's good. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, speaking of jacked, this guy has been jacked out of his a seat until I, I was trying to make that transition work, and then I my head jumped to Jack in the Box because I'm kind of hungry for lunch. Mm-hmm. But anyways, yep. um, if you're uh, we're a fan of the previous Intel CEO, he's no longer the Intel CEO. He uh, apparently had some sort of relationship, which was consensual, but against policy of Intel, and now he's gone. Yeah, apparently Intel is a family-run business, and uh, they just fire people for um, consensual <laughs> workplace romances. Oh, boy. Um, it kind of begs the question if they weren't looking for that, some kind of a... That's the first thing I was about to say. It's like, okay, so it was consensual, and you violated a policy. That's mm-hmm. right. The, the policies exist for a reason, but... If they really like the guy, it's like, okay, Doc is pay. He doesn't get some things, you know. Yeah, he doesn't get the the annual, um, you know, bonus or something. Mm -hmm. Sure. But no, no, they kicked him out. (laughs) Well, remember, this is the, so this is the Intel CEO who one day after Intel was secretly told about the Spectre and um, Mm -hmm. what's the other one called? Um, Meltdown. Meltdown vulnerabilities sold all of his stock or sold some huge amount of his stock. Uh, knowing that when an Intel announced that th- this thing to the public, that the stock price was going to nosedive, which it did. Um, I don't know. You don't get I, – I almost feel like they must have investigated that and they weren't able to prove it mm-hmm. or something because, I, I mean, that's that's or, crazy. Or yeah, – I mean, this yeah. is going to be a government-led investigation, mm-hmm. right? That's the F, not FCC, SEC. And these mm-hmm. things take a little bit of time. And so I wonder if they maybe can see the tea leaves make luck. He's going to get nailed for this in three months. Yep. Yep. Let's just let's just get out ahead of it. You know who would be the ideal CEO for Intel? Me? <laughs> no. Oh. No, I was thinking more of an engineer, genius type. Um, Satya Nadella. Mm-hmm. You're not, you're not a fan of what he's... Uh, He's done to your Microsoft band. I didn't say that. I just said that his personality <laughs> and experience type, um, sure. I think, would make him a good. I think he'd be good for Intel. Yeah, he could. Mm-hmm. Uh, he could revive that mobile first, cloud first thing, and just call it ARM. <laughs> you might want to look into this other chipset. 
you know, bring that openness that he brought to Microsoft to Intel. Yeah. You know, I, it I, used I, to be embrace and extend, and now it's just embrace. You know, I have no. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's just there's no. Uh, are you hugging me so you can stab me in the back? No, I'm just hugging you. That's the new Microsoft. We love everybody. <laughs> Until we can profit from them. Um, yeah. Oh, boy. But, I mean, that's kind of the Apple route, though, right? They partner with people, and then they just build their own stuff and then kill them. Yeah. Yeah. Or when they try to release their own stuff in-house, they just never release it because they're incompetent. Are you referring to the air power thing that they announced uh, 220 days ago? Then Bloomberg came out and said, hey, you know what? The thing's probably coming in September, putting it roughly exactly one a year. year. Yeah. It's a, we're talking about a wireless charger. These things have been out in the wild for, I don't know, 10 years. Yeah. And for some reason, it's going to run a stripped down version of iOS. I, I don't understand why. It, it can charge Nobody three devices that. at once. This is. You know what? My daughter just got a, we bought for my daughter an iPhone 8 Plus or whatever. And uh, we did this at Costco. And they have like a little, um, it's like a $40 accessory pack you get when you buy it. It includes like a car charger, a wall charger, a cord. And mm -hmm. by the way, a wireless charger. Mm -hmm. You know, they're basically, it's like uh, getting a gift in a box of Cracker Jacks. Everyone makes these things. Yeah. And what I don't, so supposedly, in which I, I don't fully understand because I don't have anything that's wireless charging. On those wireless charging pads, can you put more than one device on them? Because so, that's the whole appeal yeah, yeah, of this yeah. thing. No, not the one that my daughter got, not the ones that I've used in the past. But mm -hmm. now, of course, they have those kind of pads. You know, that, right. you know, you can line them up side by side. They have things. Actually, cars come with these. There are like surfaces and vehicles now that yep. probably support multiple devices, and you can get like a rollaway pad kind of thing that would do the same. I would imagine. I'm not the Apple one. Uh, was that a multi-device charger? I guess it yeah, was. Yeah, the the whole appeal. Which, to be honest, oh. once I get the next gen iPhone, this thing will actually be pretty appealing because then you can put your watch, your phone, and your AirPods all on one little thing, and it'll just charge them. Excuse me, when I save the fifteen hundred dollar laptop from my cat, who for some reason has to roll around all over on the table. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. You know, Paul. They say animals um, take after their owners. Just... <laughs> yes. Yeah, she is all gray like I am. What was the other uh, word you used to describe your cat that's also like you? An idiot? Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Yeah, I yeah, know. It's just the way the, uh, I don't know. I was going to say the cookie crumbles, but that doesn't really make sense. And I was trying to mold it into some sort of like Animal Kingdom reference, but here we are. <laughs> This is like turning into an uh, an episode of Archer where they're always like, "I had a line for that." <laughs> <Yeah. You know? laughs> what that's what that script? Didn't said? we have a line for that? <laughs> uh, and then uh, this came out, which Paul pointed out in our Skype chat with Mahedi um, a while ago, like last week or something. But that's ancient ago. But Microsoft officially confirms that no yeah. VR is coming to any Xbox ever. But it yep. is coming to SharePoint because that's what people want to. <laughs> You know, I feel bad about this one because I had a bunch of uh, references lined up for that Xbox article I wrote yesterday, finally, or published yesterday, where my contention was that Microsoft is, even though they're talking up hardware a little bit, what they're really focusing on is the services thing. Yeah. And um, I, the reason I, I, that article, it, I think it was from Game Industry Biz or whatever, is eight days old. They told them we're not doing VR on Xbox One. I had it in the queue. But the the problem was like, the the literal number of times in which Phil Spencer usually, but somebody from Microsoft said something about what people perceived to be the the new Xbox and was really about the service was so mm. long. I got through it and I, I'm like, I've made my case. But I, I I forgot that I had intended to hold on one second. Like get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like it, it's just I don't know this anyway. And she's coming back. No, nope. actually, she went on the dog bed. I don't. I, she's gonna destroy things in here. I, I literally, there's a lamp hanging precariously off the edge of my desk on the other side of the desk. Okay, sorry. You, you done? <laughs> I'm gonna ship you a baby gate because uh, that that accomplishes two things. One, I maybe get... potentially keeps your cat out for five minutes, and two, it yeah. gets it out of my house. I need a uh, yeah nice. 
I need the, uh, those electronic collar things. You know, like I don't want the dog to go in the part of the kitchen where we're always cooking and everything. She always wanders in when we're making food. And it's like, get out for the, you know, 2,000th time. Go. You're not, you're not adding to this. And, uh, yeah, I want like little electronic fences. But for parts of the house, like my desk could be off limits to the cat, you know. Anyway, sorry. <clears throat> These are the last animals we're ever going to own. I just, I'm done with this. Yeah, my wife keeps talking about a dog, and I'm like, you know what? How about a new king bed? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, uh, yeah. How about how about we go to one movie every week for the next year, and then we still save money? Like, I really, I really want a dog, but I really don't want a dog. It's just so it's so much. I don't understand the dog thing. It's so much. They they eat so much. They poop so much. Well, see, that's why you get a you small dog. You have to walk them problems. every single day. Okay, but I mean, it's still it's well, cats yeah, kind of self contained. You know, mm. you could leave cats here for a weekend; they'd be fine. You know, all your stuff would be on the ground, but everything would be fine. Yeah, yeah, they, they would. Uh, yeah, exhibit their displeasure with this decision for sure. But <laughs> I don't even know what we're talking about. This has just been yeah. a uh, top tier episode of First String Daily. <laughs> just. just you know, I specifically went to bed last night because I haven't been sleeping enough mm -hmm. at early at like ten for me or at ten I, roughly at ten o'clock, and uh, I didn't get up till like eight. That's a an incredible amount of sleep. That is, I should be well rested and in a great mood. And I got to tell you, I'm going to go back to drinking more and no sleeping because this is not working. <laughs> Feeling healthy <laughs> is just not it. It's it not is the me. worst. Yeah, <laughs> I just don't know what's going on. I'll tell you what. Since this show's just off the rails, I've been thinking about doing this, but I, I don't think I'll do it. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'll send you the video. Maybe I'll even post it in uh, the links below. There's a thing called the One Chip Challenge. I think we've talked about this. It's like Carolina Reaper. It's like a stupidly hot Dorito chip. And the challenge mm -hmm. is you try to eat the whole thing without dying. Um, without dying? Well, not is dying, a... literally. But, it, but it's just okay. got a lot of, it's got like the world's hottest pepper, like kind of like ground up and like baked into it. Is it like a Dorito chip or a kind of? It's just a chip just chip. Just Google it. One chip challenge. Um, okay. Specifically, there's one video. Uh, for some reason, I really like Shaq. I don't know why. Um, he just seems like a. He good thinks the human. world is flat. By the way. Well, minus that. Um, but yeah. anyways, there's a thing on the internet where he claims that he can eat it, and it's like on TNT, like NBA Today, and uh, they're like recording him, and he's like, I'll, he bets like Charles Barkley, like twenty bucks that he can eat this thing without like making a face. And it is hysterical. Okay. It is well well worth wa the watch. And I've been I like hot stuff. I really do. And so I'm tempted to buy one. They're like five bucks for a chip. These videos are all like um, they're really long. But really, what you want to do is just get to the part where they eat it. Yeah, you should watch the Shack one and just kind of like jump in and uh, just it's it's wonderful. I. This kind of thing bothers me because what this is going to do now that I've done this is mm -hmm. completely skew my results yep. on, on YouTube. So like every time I go to YouTube, all I'm going to see, all I'm going to say, see, yes. All right. Let me look. I got to look at the shack thing. This is yeah. crazy. It, well, I had the same problem. I looked at one mattress. I was curious how much a king size Casper mattress cost. And now mm -hmm. every ad on the internet is like tough to needle and like purple and just it's, it's all the mattresses you could ever imagine. So, you watching this video? Yeah, he's like basically crying. How do, do people actually think milk solves this problem? It kind of does, but not really. I don't think that's true. It 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 does help, but it's better. It's better than water. So honestly, if milk coats your throat, all you're doing is coating the hot onto your throat. <laughs> well, <laughs> it, it supposedly reacts to the Caspian oh, because does it? Caspian, okay. when you feel heat in your mouth, it's just a, a, a kind of like an allergic reaction and the milk yeah. is supposed to kind of cure that allergic reaction, but it doesn't, it's not mm. perfect. It's never really worked for me, but okay. Yeah. Anyways. Anyway, what are we talking about? I are we recording know. a podcast? Is that what this is? Uh, yeah. Uh, also it's Instagram announced Instagram TV, which is vertical only video. And, um, they said they have a billion users and I'll be curious to see if this actually catches on in any meaningful way. They definitely have sort, a yeah. platform to do I it. I sort of feel like, but, why wouldn't that? Well, th this is what Facebook does, right? Why wouldn't yeah. Instagram video just be part of Instagram or Instagram TV or whatever? It kind of is. I mean, you launch, you can launch it from inside of. Yeah. But I, I know what you mean because on Instagram they already have those stories across the top. It's like, why isn't that just yeah, the same? Yeah, yeah, exactly. 
I guess for the same reason that Facebook Messenger is yet another messenger app I have to freaking install on my computer or on my phone because people I know some for some reason use it. Yeah, see, fortunately, I'm not in that. I There's one person who uses it, and he lives in my neighborhood, and um, I don't care. That's Everyone else is on iMessage. I'm going to start not caring, too. The problem is if you don't install the app, like you get these um, uh, yep. uh, alerts, and then you can't make them go away because you don't have the app installed. And then, you know, finally you get goaded into installing it. And what I've discovered is that a friend of mine from Georgia has sent me a picture of a steak. You can do what I do. And I, uh, I, I said it on this podcast. I haven't had Facebook on my phone for like three months now. It's I don't. Yeah, I, I don't use Facebook. I just post to Instagram now, yep. which I realize is ironic. You know, no, I know. <laughs> but all I do yeah. is check that little toggle to post it to Instagram. That way my mom can see it. And that's mm. it. That's yeah. Yep. That's it. Our social media tip of the week. Just burn it all down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you got anything else for today, Paul, on this um, A plus plus episode of First String Down? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, I'm hoping by the end of the weekend to get through at least two of my laptop reviews. I know I keep talking about that. Mm-hmm. Um, I finally did that hands-on thing with the Android Messenger app. That's actually really good on the web. Um, if you're using Android, and especially if you're using the Google Messages app, which is what I do mm-hmm. use, you should look at that. And if you're not, install it and just check out the web thing because that alone may make it worthwhile. The ability yeah. to get text messages on your PC is um, is huge, You know, as any really like Mac, is. iPhone user would tell you. It really is, and I'm trying to wonder why. Skype was acting up weird this morning. I know that's an unusual phrase. <laughs> Yeah. But um cool. Yeah. What is today? What about you, Brad? No, nah, I got nothing. I read a white paper this morning. That's how my nice. base one. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. Oh, we should talk about um next week. Yeah. So we, Paul and I are gonna be traveling next week. Um just for Monday. Well, Monday into Tuesday. But um I think I, I bet we'll have time to do a quickie episode. Yeah. But it's gonna be a little um It'll be less professional. Than I was going to say, Paul, sure. is it really, really going to be any worse than this one? I mean, at least... it's like, why even war? What's the difference? You know, we're going to lower the bar. <clears throat> and then we're going to drink from it. Mm-hmm. So uh, be on the lookout for that. Today's Thursday, which means tomorrow's Friday, which means that tomorrow's show is live. You can catch all that information at threat.com slash live, typically around 1 p.m. Eastern time, unless Paul is late because he's playing Call of Duty. And, um, With that being said, folks, have yourselves a wonderful Thursday.